All right, guys. So talking about the rectal root of drug administration, which is a uh, uh, a type of enteral root of drug administration because enteral root of drug administration is basically you administering drug to or somebody by using a part of the gastrointestinal system so it could be the oral cavity oral cavity now it could be the oral roots you swallowing drugs it could be sublingual you putting drugs under the tongue it could be what bucal you putting drugs in the sides of your cheeks okay so now, rectal root of drug administration is still administration of drug using the gastrointestinal tract because the rectum is part of the gastrointestinal tract, okay? So that's why the rectal root of drug administration is characterized under the enteral classification of roots of drug administration, all right? What is the focus? It's for us to discuss the rectal roots of drug administration, okay? Administering a drug through the rectum. Okay, now when we talk about this, you get to see that uh, one disadvantage of this root of drug administration is the types of drugs that can be administered through this root is limited. Okay, it's mainly they use the suppositories and some other few examples. Okay, so you actually place a drug using the anal opening into the rectum. Okay, so now this drug is made in a way that it will actually melt at body temperature. And to get absorbed, absorbed, absorbed. Okay? So it can be used to treat things like if you have constipation, it's very, very efficient. So, guys, rectal roots of drug administration is basically uh, the main things that they mostly use this root of drug administration is the suppositories and the NMR. All right? So, what are the advantages of this rectal root of drug administration? It is suitable for unconscious patients and in children, okay? So a patient that actually came to your hospital, they are unconscious. You don't start prescribing tablets and telling them to actually open their mouth and taking water and taking tablets. They are unconscious, come on. They understand. So you have to use other routes of drug administration. And this rectal route of drug administration is suitable for patients who are off, okay? So it is also used in nauseous and vomiting patients. So noxious and vomiting patients is basically like, um, all right, these patients, if they take in any drug and it's having any funny taste, they might just vomit, okay? Or they might have some feelings of vomiting, okay? So it is easy to terminate the exposure to the drug because you are just keeping the drug here. And once you see that the exposure is too much, you still put your hand and you pick this drug out. Understand? So it's easy to terminate the exposure to the drug. Now it is a good route for laxatives. What are the disadvantages? It is inconvenient because, I mean, having something in your rectum, having something inside your anus, you feel uncomfortable, right? You feel uncomfortable, you feel inconvenient. Then the absorption is slow and erratic. What is erratic? Erratic is something that is not uniform. Right, so the absorption is slow and it's not uniform. It could just be anyhow. Do you understand? Instead of you actually putting it when you put when compared to the intravenous route of drug administration, you are putting drug directly into the vein and the absorption is what uniform. Okay. Now irritation of the rectal mucosa. Okay. Putting this drug here, right? The drug might ferment. Okay, and, can, and might cause irritation, might cause inflammation to the rectal mucosa, all right, could cause pain, swelling too. Okay, so guys, you can see this. Uh, uh, this is using a model, right? This is not really a real child, it's a model, okay? So you can see them administering drugs, administering drugs directly into the rectal, or into the rectum, right? And this is the rectal root of drug administration okay and i'll change these videos rectal uh, rate of drug administration for suppositories and enema okay but there are so many other things that can be administered through the rectal rate of drug administration right but most commonly suppositories and enema okay so guys that's it and i'll be seeing you guys in the next tour stay with me guys